Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. And today, we're being joined by Ken Boyd, author of Accounting All-in-One for Dummies. Ken, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, we are thrilled to have you. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? You know, I think the answer is a clear view on who your audience is and specifically what problem are you trying to solve. Now, for uh, fiction writers, that may be your problem you're solving is just to entertain. Um, in my case, I try to explain accounting to people who need their profession for the CPA exams. So just have a clear view of your audience, I think, is the best answer. Perfect. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? You know, I happen to have a, a literary agent who found me, and so if you're going through the traditional publishing route, it is very difficult, increasingly difficult today, to convince a publisher that you have an audience, because what I'm finding is publishers are increasingly concerned about does the writer have an audience rather than them going out and marketing a good book, book idea. So specifically, how big of a social media following do you have? Do you have some sort of a professional reputation? Um, and you should expect to have to market the book yourself. And I think that's the hardest thing about getting published, whether self-publishing or through a publisher. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launches that has worked well. So I started a YouTube channel in 2008 that I've consistently added to every year since that has about 450 videos. That worked for me in two ways. The first is, is that my literary agent found me on YouTube. I write dummies books, and he was looking for an author for cost accounting for dummies, and I happened to rank highly in a search on cost accounting on that keyword. So the first thing is I was found by a, an agent through my YouTube channel, and I continue to post videos, and every video has the thumbnail, the tags of images of my book, the homepage of my YouTube channel has images of my book, and I've been able to maintain sales um, year after year pretty consistently because I market through my YouTube page, and I think the, the moral to the story is if, whether it's YouTube or somewhere else, if you consistently post content week after week, year after year, that will support book sales. And were you also using SEO as well for each of these posts? Yes. So if you look at a typical YouTube video, the, the title, the description, the tags within each post, mention the books, um, and so there is definitely SEO going on that drives, drives that traffic, yes. And you mentioned you started the YouTube channel in 2008. It's so roughly over 12 years, 450 videos. Is that right? Yes. Almost all of them on accounting. Some of them are on personal finance, mostly on accounting topics. And that's what my site's about. And how long are each videos typically? Averaging three or four minutes. Got it. Well, and I think that's the biggest thing is just doing that consistently. I mean, with, with our podcast, this is episode 584. It's the same thing with YouTube videos. When you keep building those over time and you're utilizing SEO, plus you're also including your book, you're mentioning it, you're adding that in there. It's just one of the best ways to do these long-term sales, long-term marketing, but also when people are looking for certain people to write these books, just as a literary agent found you, that was through your YouTube page. So you already had that platform that you've established consistently over these past 12 years, and especially with all that content. Yeah, in fact, when he emailed me, it was April 2012, he said, you know, I watched some of your YouTube videos, I think you could write a dummies book. I ended up writing four books and getting some other video deals all from that one person finding me. And 
as you mentioned with your podcast, which is so impressive that many podcasts, most people give up and don't keep going. Mm -hmm. And so to differentiate, if you simply keep posting content, uh, it really pays, it pays off. It really does. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, that's the main thing because you'll see a lot of podcasts that they'll do maybe 15, 20 episodes and they're not really getting the audience that they want immediately, which, I mean, Rome was never built in a day. And it's one of those things where you just have to consistently build it and add new content. And as long as you're doing that, you're going to be fine over time. But it's just people, I think, realize, okay, I'll just do this and I'll have this huge following. And that's not how it works. It works over time building the habits, being consistent, just like you have done with the YouTube channel and on a diff on the similar level with us with the podcast. It's just one of those things where you're building this, this catalog of hundreds and hundreds of episodes and that really does build that momentum for the future. Yeah, very much so. And it, it also, so you'll never know uh, what will come out of having, whether it's a podcast or a YouTube channel, you never know what will come out of that content because is I consistently repurpose my content yep. in videos, in books, CPA test prep preparation. So I just keep repurposing the same content. Yeah, and it's great when you have these different channels because then you can present it in different ways. You could have a video, then you can do a transcription, turn it into a post. I mean, there's just so many different things that you can utilize with your content. When you maximize it, it just really takes things to the next level. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, it's something I will always do. I post cut, try to post content every week. Well, speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? So my favorite book is called The Road Back to You, and it's written by a guy named Ian Crohn, C-O-R-N, and the subtitle is An Enneagram Journey to Self-Discovery. And... Um, if you've taken Myers-Briggs, the Enneagram is like that, except it's more in-depth. And I think it's a great book because it helps you understand other pe yourself and other people. Uh, I've given that book away as a gift a lot because um, there are nine personality types. And uh, I think it's a fantastic tool to understand both yourself, your family, and other people. So that's my favorite book. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? Uh, my favorite quote is, no one knows enough to be a pessimist, which has been attributed to Wayne Dyer, who's the uh, self-help guru who died in the last few years, or Norman Cousins, who's also a journalist. It's, it's one of the two or both. Um, I think it's particularly appropriate now with Corona going on that uh, there is opportunity out of crisis, and I think that one of the things that's happening is this could really be the golden age, this current time, 2020, of online education and training, which is the business that I'm in, because so many more people will be online. I think there's tremendous opportunity there. And I think that's what that quote means. Absolutely. Well, Ken, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? Two ways. Uh, I have a website called accountingaccidentally.com where you'll find about 350 blog posts and links to about 400 of the YouTube channels. And then my YouTube channel itself is my name, Ken Boyd STL for St. Louis. Ken Boyd STL is my YouTube channel. Ken, thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.